In this video, we're going to focus on factoring trinomials with very large numbers. So let's try this one. How can we factor the expression x squared plus 20x plus 96? What would you do to factor this particular example? So we need to find two numbers that multiply to 96, but that add to 20. Now, if you don't see what the two numbers are immediately, make a list. Let's start with 1. If you type in your calculator 96 divided by 1, you're going to get 96. If you divide it by 2, this is going to be 48. If you divide it by 3, you should get 32. If you divide it by 4, that's going to be 24. Now, it's not divisible by 5, so let's skip 5. If we divide it by 6, that's going to be 16. Now, 7 doesn't go into 96, but if we divide it by 8, then we're going to get 8 and 12. Notice that 8 times 12 multiplies to 96, but 8 plus 12 adds up to 20. So if you make a list, it's going to help you to factor this trinomial. So the answer is x plus 8 times x plus 12. Now let's work on some more examples. Let's try this one. x squared minus 6x minus 135. So what two numbers multiply to 135 but add to negative 6? So it's not divisible by 2. Let's see if 135 is divisible by 3. 3 and 45 multiply to 135. Now, because we have a 5, we know it's divisible by 5. And this is going to be 27. Now, we know that 45 is divisible by 9. So 135 must be divisible by 9. 135 divided by 9 is 15. Notice that 9 and 15 differs by 6. Now, which one should be negative, 9 or 15? We need to put the negative in front of 15. 9 times negative 15 is negative 135, but 9 plus negative 15 is negative 6. So the answer is x plus 9 times x minus 15. And you can check the answer by foiling it. x times x is x squared x times negative 15 is negative 15x. This is going to be 9x. And 9 times negative 15 is negative 135. And if you add the two middle terms, you're going to get negative 6x. So this is the answer. Try this one x squared plus 42x plus 432. So 432 is divisible by 2. 432 divided by 2 is 216. So that's not going to add to 42. 432 is also divisible by 3. And you're going to get 144. If you divide it by 4, you're going to get 108. So what I would do is start with 1 or 2 and just keep increasing it. Now, it doesn't go into 5. If 432 is divisible by 2 and 3, that means that it's divisible by 6. If you divide it by 6, you're going to get 72. So it's also divisible by 8. which will give you 54. 54 is divisible by 9, so 432 must be divisible by 9. And this is 48. 10 does go into it, but since 6 and 2 goes into it, that means it's divisible by 12. Now what's the next number that we should choose? So 2 times 8 
is 16. So we could try 16. 15 is not going to work because it's not divisible by 5. 432 divided by 16 is 27. By the way, notice that, well, we don't have the answer yet. I was looking at 12 and 36, but that adds up to 48, which is close. 16 and 27 adds up to 43. Now, 6 times 3 is 18, so we could try 18. 432 divided by 18 is 24. Notice that these two adds up to 42. So the answer is going to be x plus 18 times x plus 24. So that's what you can do whenever the leading coefficient is 1. But what about if it's not 1? What should we do in that case? Like this particular example. 12x squared minus 11x minus 15. How can we factor this expression? The first thing we need to do is multiply 12 by negative 15. 12 times negative 15 is equal to uh, negative 180. So what two numbers multiply to negative 180 but add to negative 11? Now it helps to find the factors of 12 and 15. Factors of 12 are 4 and 3. Factors of 15 are 3 and 5. And factors of 4 are 2 and 2. So 2 goes into 180. 2 times 90 is 180. 4 goes into it. If we take out a 4, what we have left over is 3 times 3 times 5. 3 times 3 is 9 times 5 is 45. So 4 times 45 is 180. Now we have a 3 and 2, so 6 goes into it. What we have left over is 5 and 3, which is 15 times 2. That's 30. So 30 times 6 is 180. And we could try 5 as well. So we have 9 left over times 4, which is 36. Now 9 goes into 180. And what we have left over is 5 times 2 times 2, or 5 times 4, which is 20. So 9 times 20 is 180. Notice that 9 and 20 differs by 11. So let's put the negative sign in front of the 20. So positive 9 times negative 20 is negative 180, but 9 plus negative 20 adds up to negative 11. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to replace negative 11x with positive 9x and negative 20x. And then we're going to factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms, which is 3x. 12x squared divided by 3x is 4x. 9x divided by 3x is 3. In the last two terms, let's take out the GCF, the greatest common factor, which is going to be negative 5. Negative 20x divided by negative 5 is 4x. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is 3. If these two terms are the same, then that means that you're on the right track. So now let's factor out 4x plus 3, since that's the common term. If we take out 4x plus 3 in the first term, we're going to have 3x left over. And if we take it out in the second term, we're going to have negative 5 left over. So this is the answer. And let's confirm it by foiling these two uh, terms. So 4x times 3x is 12x squared. 4x times negative 5 is negative 20x. 3 times 3x is 9x. And 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And now let's add these two terms. So this is going to give us the original expression. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to factor trinomials with very large numbers. As you can see, it really helps if you make a list. And just be organized. Start from 1 and increase it until you find the number that 
adds or subtracts to the middle coefficient. So if you do it that way, eventually you're going to find out what the answer is, and that's it. So thanks again for watching this video, and have a great day.